guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review, and this time around I'm reviewing the 2009 version of Friday the 13th. Right, straight away, Friday the 13th has been around for many, many years, uh, a couple of decades now, and the 2009 version stars Jared Padalecki. I hope I said his name right. Uh, the tall Sam Winchester fella from uh, Supernatural. And uh, this version, Friday the 13th, called Welcome to Crystal Lake is a produced by Michael Bay film and in all honesty it starts the franchise again uh, it explains how his mother died within the first few seconds really uh, it's not a spoiler uh, but the film explains how his mother died um, what happened to Jason as a young child yeah it just tells you all about the character how it started uh, what happened to his mum what happened to him Everything like that reboots it and makes it all fresh in 2009. So yeah, 2009 version, uh, to me, well, it's an 18 rated version, uh, just to let you know. So 2009 film, 18 rated. And in all honesty, I think this is one of the best films uh, that has been around uh, for quite some time, really. And not just by the standard of Friday the 13th films, but more by the standard of horror films. Because... Nowadays, most of the horror films, or horror films nowadays are 15 rated. Uh, there's, it's harder to scare the audience. You need that sort of jump factor, the big what's going to happen. And in the 80s, when the films were first around, such as Alien, the original Friday the 13th films, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Horror films like that, they were the films that set the standard. They were the shocking ones. Whereas now, I think this one did pretty well at it. Uh, the fact of Jason coming back and he's a big guy, he's got his machete, he's strong, he's powerful, nothing seems to kill him. You know, the traditional Jason Voorhees character is back and he's been shoved in the 21st century, which I think is pretty damn cool. A, like in one of the original films he has a sack over his head and at the start of the film he has a sack over his head again which is good to tradition and then eventually finds his hockey mask it's pretty good it's it's how it should be it's an 18 rated horror film that makes you jump and makes you scared and it's it's like oh crap look at jason he's seven foot tall almost and he can swing a machete he can run like an athlete and you know shit like that and it's it's pretty good this is it's what the horror genre needs. It needs a good horror slasher film. And there's nothing really like that that's come about. You know, there's nothing like Jason, you know. You need a good horror slasher film. And that's what you need. And I think that Friday the 13th does it. However, looking on the internet, IMDB rates it at 5.4 out of 10. And Rotten Tomato has given it a 25%. Now, in all honesty, I think it was a pretty good film. It was it was a traditional Jason Voorhees Friday the Thirteenth film, but in the modern era, it was Jason preying on a bunch of young kids. Really, uh, it was a good story, pretty basic story, uh, but it got you in Crystal Lake, which is what was needed. It got you there, but it, it had that jump factor. It had the fact of there's blood, there's gore, there's violence, there's death, there's the traditional Jason Friday the 13th nudity and it's it just bowled it all up and put it in a 21st century film and I think it's a good film in all honesty. People may not agree with me but hey ho. Uh, Michael Bay as well, the guy who did Transformers, he's produced it so lately he's done all his explosions. Well there's no explosions in this, you know, there's it's not the Transformers Michael Bay film. And it's also got uh, Sam from Supernatural. So if you like Sam and Supernatural and Jared Padalecki and whatever else he's previously done, then you might like it. But if you're a Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees fan, then this is definitely for you, I think. I mean, it's the rebirth of Jason, really. Um, they should make as many more of these as they possibly can, I think. It's been slated in in other reviews but in all honesty I think it's a great film. If you like Jason Voorhees, Prius Friday the 13th films, anything that Jared Padalecki has done, I hopefully said your name right, 
uh, then I think you will enjoy this film. Uh, modern era slasher. Did he just you know run as fast as an athlete and swing a machete at someone? Uh, a few comedy moments. There are nudity. All the women seem to have fake boobs, which is a bit of a turn off. But hey ho, if you like fake boobs and women topless and all that shit, then traditional thing. Uh, the only thing that they could have done really make it better was Jason get a sleeping bag and beat him against a tree. Um, but in all honesty, Friday the 13th, I enjoyed it. I loved it. I thought it was a great film. Traditional Friday the 13th film shoved in a 21st century blender. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did, if you're a fan. Don't forget, Toby WTD gets you 20% off any weed of the voted gear. Uh, but guys, thank you for watching my review of Friday the 13th. Halloween is coming up. Why not scare yourself shitless and watch Jason Voorhees rebooted?